Hello, I'm Dr. Valerie McLaughlin, Director of the Pulmonary Hypertension Program at the University of Michigan. I'm joined today by my colleagues, Dr. Richard Chanick and Dr. Iwana Preston, to discuss some of the key highlights from the Six World Symposium on Pulmonary Hypertension. Rich, Iwana, you were both on the task force that discussed risk stratification, goals of therapy, and treatment algorithm, and that's the topic for today. Um, Iwana, tell me, do you think the goals that we discussed, the goals that are in that task force report, are different than in 2015 at the time of the last ERS guidelines? Val, I think we've restructured them and we've consolidated them uh, because we have a better understanding of how to put these parameters um, together um, to assess our patients. So I think that has changed. The other thing that has changed is our um, uh, pursue of making patients better to the point where they are in a low risk, risk low for disease progression, for hospitalizations, and for survival. Right. And I think that is because there were several papers published between the 2015 ERS ESC guidelines and the 2018 symposium that really stressed the importance of that low risk state which is now like really deeply embedded in the treatment algorithm, which I find very practical for taking care of these patients. So Rich, I'm sure you assess risk status when you're seeing patients, you do structured follow-up. Do you think that there are any barriers to driving the majority of patients into that low risk state? Sure, I mean, you know, clearly there's differences in how patients respond to treatments. I think, you know, the goal is that we don't make them, you know, sort of self-imposed barriers, sort of under-treating patients. And I think, as Joanna said, this really was a very important message from our task force, is this aggressiveness of treatment and not settling for patients being stable since their last visit. I think that, that that's the biggest barrier is, is that we need to keep pushing. And fortunately, we have many different treatment options, and the algorithm really highlights those that you can add two drugs, three drugs, go to parenteral therapy, um, even transplantation, advanced therapy. So lots of different options. And with those options, you know, you can hopefully break through those barriers and get not every patient to low risk, but hopefully the vast majority. Yeah, I think sometimes it's tricky, right? Because the, the items that we look for can be impacted by other things. Like I classically give the example of my 85-year-old woman with scleroderma who um, is never going to walk 440 meters and you know has a little ILD and scleroderma and so she's always functional class 3 but her RV is perfectly normal on echo and technically yeah. she hasn't met the low risk sure. criteria but I think she's probably got pretty well treated pulmonary hypertension. Yeah, as in anything there's always going to be exceptions. You, We still have to go case by case and look at the individual, I agree. Iwana, a any other barriers? I think insurance companies are getting so strict right. these days, you know, a patient adherence, anything else that I think that we have to take into consideration in meeting these goals? Yes, as we, you know, push our treatments to get to, uh, uh, you know, the goal of patient becoming a low risk, there's polypharmacy, there's interaction between pH medications and the regular uh, you know, uh, medications that patients uh, may be on for diabetes or for high blood pressure or whatnot. Um, there's compliance issue, there's cost issue and insurance. There, so it's, it's a very complex uh, way, uh, uh, foundation that we have to apply for these patients to be treated. Uh, we have to interact with specialty pharmacies. Um, we need um, in our clinic a nurse or a nurse practitioner with experience in this disease. Uh, there are uh, social issues that these patients need to be helped with. Um, so it's not only a one physician who treats these patients, but it's a whole team. Right. So, so it adds yeah. to complexity of uh, treatment. And then we have to take into account the goals of our patients and 
only now we learn how to put this into perspective. Right. So it sounds very simple, get everyone to low risk, but there are lots of nuances and right. you know, it's, it's, uh, it takes a team approach, I think it is a really does. important conclusion that you pointed out as well, Iwana. So Rich, Iwana, thank you for joining me today. Uh, we had the opportunity to discuss the risk assessment, the goals of therapy, the comments that were made at the Six World Symposium, and thank you for joining us for that discussion.